Next, I'm going to be talking about the weather, and this will really vary depending on whereabouts you live. Where I live, the weather can be very unpredictable. One minute it might be really sunny, the next minute it could be raining, and you just never know what it's going to be like. If it was raining, they would need somewhere to shelter. If it's sunny, they need to be kept cool and not in direct sunlight. So there are many things to think about. And the location we chose for this outdoor enclosure is in a shadier part of the garden. So in summer it doesn't get direct sunlight but it still gets part of sunlight. And also when it's raining they have this shed and this allows them to keep dry. And if the weather is really bad I can easily shut them in here so I know that they won't come out. The bedding in the outdoor enclosure is called hemp and we get this from a local horse supplier in large bales. It is not absorbent at all and this means that the rain will soak through it and there is soil underneath the bedding. So it soaks through the bedding and then gets absorbed into the soil and then within a few hours the bedding dries out again. I think that it is really important to be prepared for all the different weather that you may have where you live and I have this door which will open into a stable door so on days that are quite warm but not really warm I can just have part of the door open and then on really hot days I can fully open the door. A window is very important for a shed, it will provide a good amount of natural lighting My outdoor guinea pig enclosure is made from mainly just wood and mesh and the mesh stops any predators getting in and also prevents the guinea pigs from escaping. In my enclosure I have a herb garden now this is great because it means the guinea pigs can naturally forage for their food and they're working for their food. This therefore encourages natural behaviours and it's great to see them reaching up and nibbling parts of the plants. And we have this barrier which goes across the front of the plants and this just allows the plants to grow. access the enclosure I have this door and it works really well as I can just watch the guinea pigs from here and it also works really great as a feeding station as it is just the right height and the guinea pigs can't escape. Every evening I spot clean the outdoor enclosure and this just means that there's no poop laying around that could attract any flies and I also clean out the shed and in the hutch so I will show you a bit of that so you can get to see what I do. So rather than filming me clean the indoor run because this is not a cleaning video, I will just briefly go over what I do. So I remove all of the straw from the hutch and put that in the green bin and then I remove all soil bedding, so pee and poop and put that into a black bin bag and then replace it with fresh bedding, fresh straw refresh their water bottles and pretty much what you would do in an indoor enclosure but on a bigger scale and that's pretty much all I do. I also top up their hay racks, make sure that they have plenty. Every evening that it is particularly cold I will fill the hutch with a layer of straw and the amount depends on the temperature overnight so Tonight I haven't put like a load in but I have given them a generous layer and this straw is really good. It is I believe barley straw so 
most straw has no nutritional value therefore the guinea pigs don't eat it however this straw does have some nutrition to it and they do nibble that <coughs> will be answering all of your questions and I put a post on Instagram asking you guys if you could comment some questions about having an outdoor enclosure and I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird it's because I've got a cold so yeah I do sound a bit funny but um, I'm just going to be answering those now. So the first question is is it better keeping them outdoors or indoors? That is a good question and for me keeping them outdoors is much better because then they just get to experience a natural lifestyle and I try to give my guinea pigs the most natural life possible and you can only go to a certain extent, you can't like take them back to their natural habitat and they have been domesticated for a long time and obviously they're not exactly the same as they were in the wild going back um, but they still have very similar instincts and um, they still have those natural behaviours in them so I think keeping them outdoors um, with some shelter whether it is a shed or a hutch joined onto it I think that is such a great thing to do and if you can't keep them outdoors all year even just like for half the year it is great. Next question is do you think your guinea pigs like your outdoor area or indoor area better? My guinea pigs love both and I think they really appreciate the shed now because it just gives them somewhere to shelter um, and they really like it in there, they feel much more secure and um, all of that but they also love outside so I think outside on a nice warm day is what they prefer but um, the majority of the time when the weather is bad because we do get a lot of bad weather where I live, um, I think they prefer to be in the shed. What is cheaper, indoor or outdoor? Um, well I think that when you keep your guinea pigs outdoors, um, especially in winter you've got to bed them down on a lot more. Um, I don't know if this kind of will include the cost of building it or just the cost of maintaining it. Um, the cost of building, I'd say for an outdoor enclosure, is quite a bit more expensive. It does depend what materials you use and etc. But I think um, in terms of building, that is more expensive. But I think um, in terms of maintaining it, such as cleaning it, etc. Um, again, I go for the outdoor enclosure because in winter they need a lot more straw for insulation and covering such like a large space does um, take up a lot of bedding and that is expensive. They also need to be fed more vegetables um, because they're using up energy when they're getting cold because they need to keep warm. So you do have to um, think about things like that. So I would say it's not a massive difference but it is probably a little bit more expensive I've never had my guinea pigs out here over winter before so I don't really know how expensive they will be over winter but I would imagine they would be a little bit more expensive than it would be to keep them indoors. What's the best way to keep predators out as that would be the thing I would be worried about the most? I think that you've got to make an outdoor enclosure very secure, 
fox proof, dog proof, cat proof and whatever other animals you would have which could be considered as predators. Obviously the enclosure has to be meshed, that is an essential and so it's completely secure, nothing can get in. I did read on this one website if you can get like an egg through a gap in an enclosure that you have then it's not suitable so any possible gaps which could be a problem need to be sealed and um, that's how to keep them out so it needs to be fully secure with mesh. How does an outdoor enclosure work in the winter? I think we're getting a little um, sort of like a canopy thing coming off of the outdoor enclosure no not the outdoor enclosure, coming off of the shed to cover part of the outdoor enclosure so if it's raining they can still go out um, because it might be warm when it's raining but obviously they don't want to get wet so if we have this area which is covered then they may be more inclined to go outdoors so I think that's what we're going to try out and we already have that because we were originally going to use that to cover a section of the enclosure as like a roof but we never used it so I think um, that is something we'll definitely do and we already have the um, equipment to do that so I think that's how it will work. What about in rain or snow, where do they go and what do you do? If it's like torrential downpour for a long time I can just shut them in the shed. Um, so it's not really much of a problem at all, they've got the whole indoor area, they've not got limited space in there, they have a very decent size run so I think that's not a problem. Is it okay to keep your guinea pigs in an outside enclosure if it loose on its own? Definitely not. I think that no guinea pigs should be living on their own ever. They need the heat off the other guinea pigs to keep warm, they need the companionship, they get scared on their own and I just think that in an outdoor enclosure that is not the suitable environment for one guinea pig. What bedding is best for an outdoor or indoor enclosure? I think that having inside I use wood shavings I'm not saying this is what you have to use that's just personally what I use because I find it's very absorbent and um, some people say that not to use wood shavings because it's bad and all of this I've never experienced any problems with wood shavings I've been using it for three years and I've never had any problem with it so as long as it's not too dusty then it's fine and um, I think it's so absorbent, very easy to clean and I love it so I would always use that but there are many other beddings which are suitable that you can use so I'm not saying you have to use that. In the outdoor enclosure if you don't have it covered you need a bedding that will dry out quickly and not get blown away so some people can use like bark chippings but I don't use bark chippings because I think it will be very easy, very easy, very difficult to clean because um, it's the colour of the guinea pig poop so it's very hard to pick off um, whereas when I use hemp it's a different colour and hemp is not very absorbent so eventually the after a few hours if it's been raining it will go through the bedding and soak into the soil which is underneath so I think that is a good bedding to use and it's worked very well for us but if your enclosure is covered then I guess there will be more options because you wouldn't have to worry about it getting wet etc. So that is what I would recommend. Should I keep my pigs in a shed with a slightly small run or should I keep my pigs in a hutch with a much bigger run outside? The outdoor runs are attached but I will block it off when it rains or if it gets too warm. I think it depends what time of the year you've got your guinea pigs outdoors. If it's throughout the whole year, you need to think about like the weather where you are. If you're just keeping your guinea pigs out for the warm months, I would say make the outdoor area bigger because they might be more um, chance of them spending more time out there than inside and when they go inside they'll probably just be sleeping so if you are just getting your guinea pigs out for the warmer months I would say make the outdoor run bigger however if you are keeping your guinea pigs outdoors all year round I would say maybe think about the weather and if you get really cold winters or in autumn um, it's very cold then I would say try and think about where the guinea pigs will be spending the most time and if you think over winter it's very cold and they're likely to be spending a lot of time indoors, then try and focus on making the indoor area bigger.